Hello, hello. <coughs> hello and welcome. Yeah, this is uh, another video from me. Uh, I just want to discuss the PT100 <coughs> temperature detector. Uh, it's a simple resistance based uh, detector from uh, the definition it says a pt100 is the most common type of resistance temperature detector the pt100 has a temperature of 100 ohms at zero degrees and 138.5 ohms at 100 degrees celsius did i say at zero degrees anyway so pt100s are a common choice for measuring temperature in industrial processes and labs. So they are popular because of their stability, accuracy, and repeatability. So why is that important? Because uh, processes that are precise need a sensor that is also precise, stable, accurate, repeatable, all those good characteristics. And then the construction of the same is also easy. So, uh, this sensor is a popular one. We find that there are very many different uh, configuration of that sensor, and they are all available for different purposes, different form factors. They can fit in different uh, places. And so you can see them online. There are very many different uh, types. And so um, they come in different flavors, but the basic one has a uh, three wire. So if we did a uh, uh, three wire uh, PT100. We find that uh, this one would uh, be the you know the easiest. So you find that uh, this uh, schematic of a three wire uh, allows you to measure the to eliminate the cable used in the connection of the sensor. So you find that in a two-wire system, the resistance of the wire uh, also contributes to the total resistance uh, of the circuit. And so with a three-wire, you're able to subtract uh, the resistance of the cable. And so you are able to measure the resistance more accurately. If it's a four-wire, even better, so that now it gives you an even more accurate uh, system. This one can be used with very many different controllers. Uh, PT100 temperature controller. They have they come in very many circuits, uh, uh, very many configurations, very many manufacturers. Uh, most of them are PID controllers. So you find that they are used in the process in the industrial processes to control the uh, to control the the process so you can get any one of these connect an rpd the pt100 and you're able to read the temperature and you're able to control a process using a relay or a solid a solid state relay or the other mechanical relay electromechanical relay so the different flavors and now uh, for uh, how to test it so you find that by definition the pt100 has a resistance of 100 ohms at one at zero degrees and 138.5 at 100 degrees so generally a pt100 uh, sensor will have a resistance between 100 and 138.5 uh you know between in the, in the room temperature, so it will be somewhere in between. And from uh, from here, you can see that uh, we can easily test the resistance with a voltmeter. So I have with me here uh, um, a demo of a PT100 uh, sensor. It has, it's a three wire, wire one. We have my voltmeter here, rather my multimeter. So we're going to be testing this one, see how it uh, behaves, and see if um, we can use that knowledge somewhere else to troubleshoot industrial processes or even to 
check whether the sensor itself is healthy. So uh, first we're going to measure the resistance. So the voltmeter has been set to resistance, uh, the multimeter I mean, uh, to resistance. And so we are going to test between the, um, the wires and see the terminals so that you see which, which one is which. So we can, between the red and white, it says it's actually 110.3 degrees, I, I mean uh, ohms, and then between red and red and black, it's around 110 as well. And then we test between white and white and red, we find that it is zero. So between white and red, that's the the one that's used for cancellation of the circuit voltage. So let us wire this, uh, this to the probe, the black and the red, and then test to see if the resistance of the circuit is changing to see if this sensor is actually, if this sensor is actually working. So here we go. So it's all wired up. It's reading 10.3 ohms. And so now I'm going to use my hand to warm up the sensor and see if the resistance changes. So here goes, that's the sensor in my hand. The resistance is increasing. 111, 111, 111, 111.5, 111.9, 112, 0.4. Yes, so that's it. Uh, so for a healthy PT100, you'll find that the resistance between a set of two cables is about between 100 and 130 something. And then between the other two, it will be a continuous circuit. So if any of the circuit is open, then you know that that uh, sensor has reached its end of life. So the mechanism for working of all the sensors is the same. Uh, all that's different is how uh, they are configured to work so that they can fit different uh, purposes. All right. Thank you very much uh, for coming to check out my channel. Enjoy as we bring you more and more content. Thank you.